You believe in passive and diversified investing with low-cost ETFs and index funds. But at the same time, you're convinced that certain industries and countries will perform better than the market. There is a strategy that combines the two, the core satellite strategy. It's the best of both worlds investing strategy that can boost your performance whilst keeping your costs low and your diversification high. But how does it work? What are the benefits and risks? And how can you build it yourself? These are the questions that we will answer today. So let's get it. What's up everyone, this is FU Academy, your channel for financial education. And on this channel, I share lifestyle, investing style and educational videos just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. The core satellite strategy is an investment strategy that combines passive and active investing. The strategy was invented by Fisher Black and Jack Trainer. They both believed in the efficient market theory, which assumes that all information about a stock is already priced into the share price at any given time. Because of that, it's almost impossible for the active investor to beat the market. But Black and Trainer believed that there are some opportunities out there where some stocks can generate a higher return than the overall market. That's why their investment strategy had two components, a core and a satellite. The core is the center of that portfolio that passively tracks the market. The satellites are used to overweight certain industries, countries or asset classes that have the potential to produce a higher return than the market. So the satellites are the actively managed part of this portfolio. Visually, the core is like a planet that is surrounded by small satellite investments that move around the planet to look for new opportunities. The split between the core and the satellite portfolio is around 80-20. 20, 80 being the core part and 20 the satellite part. If you're someone who wants to take less risk, then you can increase the core part in your portfolio. Jack Bogle, the founder of Vanguard and the father of index investing, was a bit more conservative here. He said that the satellite component, he called it funny money account, shouldn't be higher than 5%. Ultimately, it's up to you how much risk you want to take. The core is invested on a buy and hold basis for the long term with the usual holding period of at least 15 years. Here, you can use a low cost diversified ETF or index fund. The satellites focus on tactical and short term investment opportunities. You can have multiple satellites, but altogether, they shouldn't take up more than 20%. Here, you can use specific ETFs or even stock picking. What some investors do is to hold the core and the satellite portfolio in two different brokerage accounts. That way, you keep your core investments tidy and you can easily benchmark the returns in both accounts against each other. If you then realize that your satellite strategy consistently underperforms your core account, then you can think about switching to a core-only strategy. Now, why would you even consider the core satellite strategy? Your investment investment goal should be to get an annual return in line with the overall market. If we take a look at the S&P 500, in the last 100 years, that annual return would have been around 8%, including dividends and adjusting for inflation. That market return is covered by your core investments. By allocating a small portion of your portfolio towards active bets, you get the chance to outperform the market without taking on too much risk. Another advantage is that you can set up a portfolio that is tailored towards your interests. If you're really into gaming, for example, then you could invest in an eSports ETF like the ESPO through a satellite. Another advantage is that you can easily set up your satellites with specific ETFs. You don't have to do a lot of research to find specific companies and if your core only consists of equity ETFs, then adding satellite ETFs that invest in other asset classes like commodities, bonds, real estate or gold can lower the volatility of your portfolio. That's because of the negative correlation of certain asset classes. If stocks go down, for example, then other asset classes like bonds and gold tend to go up. The question to you, do you only invest in stocks or do you include other asset classes too? Let me know in the comment section below. Now the cost satellite strategy also comes with some downsides and the biggest one is that your satellites are moving you more towards active investing. You're essentially betting that specific investments will perform better than the total market. And active investing can work for some people, but for the majority it doesn't. 
The reality is that only 10% of actively managed funds could beat the S&P 500 as a benchmark over a time frame of 15 years. So there is a high chance that your satellite investments will lower your overall returns in the long run. Another downside is costs. So the core of your portfolio is invested in diversified and passive ETFs that track the S&P 500 or the world. And the total expense ratio for those ETFs is very low because it doesn't require the ETF provider to do a lot of active research and there is a lot of competition out there for these products. Active ETFs on the other side are more expensive because they are more niche so there isn't much competition out there. And ETF providers need to do more research work and hire more people to manage the fund. Also the satellite investments require you to do more research work to find the right ETFs. If you want to do stock picking then you have even more work to do. Another downside is the rebalancing that you have to do every quarter or every year to bring back the portfolio allocation to the original balance. And lastly, you could end up with a high concentration risk if you add satellite ETFs or stocks that overlap with your core. We are about halfway through. If you are getting value in this video, then let me know by smashing that like button. Thank you so much. So how can you build a core satellite portfolio yourself? For the core part, you could use an ETF that passively tracks your home market or the entire world. If you're from the US and you just want to track your home market, then you can pick an ETF like Vanguard's total stock market ETF, ticker symbol VTI. If you want to track the entire world, you could go for the 70-30 world portfolio in which 70% of your core is invested in developed countries and 30% of your core in emerging markets. That roughly represents the global GDP distribution. For that, you could add a developed market ETF like Vanguard's FTSE developed markets ETF ticker symbol VEA and on top of that you could add an emerging markets ETF like BlackRock's iShares core MSCI emerging markets ETF ticker symbol IEMG. You could also simplify all of that and just go for one ETF that tracks the entire world. One example would be Vanguard's total world stock ETF ticker symbol VT. These are just some examples of how you could set up your core. If you want to know more about any of the ETFs just mentioned or if you are an investor outside the US and you want to know alternatives for these ETFs, then check out the video in the link. For your satellite investments, you can go crazy and pick investments that you believe in the most. One way is to use ETFs as your satellites. These can include ETFs that focus on a specific investment style, like growth, value or momentum, or they can focus on a specific industry that you are convinced of, like tech, renewable energy or esports. If you think that a specific country or continent will perform better in the future, then you can also invest in a regional ETF, like a China or Asia ETF. Another way to use your satellites is to invest in different asset classes, like in a REIT, a commodity or gold ETF, bonds or even cryptocurrencies. Important, these are not buying recommendations, these are just some examples. If you need more ETF ideas for your satellites, then you could go on etfdb.com where you will find a selection of ETFs organized by types and industries. I will leave a link to their website in the description below. But you're not just limited to ETFs, you can also do stock picking with your satellites. But here, you need to invest a bit more time to research the right companies. And to get an edge over your core, you can invest in areas that have little overlaps with your core. So is the core satellite strategy right for you? I believe that the most important thing with investments is that you feel comfortable with it. If you believe in a passive investing, but at the same time you are an engaged investor with a few ideas on certain industries or countries that could outperform the market in the future, then the core satellite strategy could be right for you. It can combine the best of two worlds, it can boost your performance with riskier investments, and at the same time, it will keep your costs low and your diversification high. If you want to invest in satellites, make sure you do your homework, research an industry before investing and try to stay in your circle of competence. Try to avoid FOMO and jumping onto one hyped topic after another just because you heard about it on social media. If you do that, chances are high that these industries are already overvalued. What you want to avoid is buying high, selling low. 
Also, be honest with yourself and compare the returns of your core and satellite portfolio after a few years. Also, remember that there is no guarantee that your satellite investments can get you a higher return. Statistically, you have a higher chance to even reduce your overall returns. If you're a passive investor and you feel comfortable with it, then you shouldn't get confused by this video. Just continue with that strategy because it's the least risky, cheapest and easiest way of investing. But what do you actually think? Are you using the core satellite strategy? If so, what are the industries that you added or do you believe in a fully passive investment strategy? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope that this video could help you to understand the concept of the core satellite portfolio. If you like what you saw and you want to support this channel, then please make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much for doing that and peace.